Good morning, Springton Lake. I'm Basil Cross. And I'm Ella Colazanata with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, October 18, and today is a day six. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you have an interest in leading a healthy lifestyle? If so, please join us for Students Against Destructive Decisions at our first meeting after school on Thursday, October 20th in room A101. We're excited to share ideas and hear some from you as well. Red Ribbon Week will be in a few weeks, but that's just one of the activities that we as a club look forward to organizing this year. Mrs. Lawback and Ms. Megko are excited to meet all who are interested, whether you signed up at, after the club, fair or not, on October 20th. See you then. On Wednesday, October 19th, Reading Olympics will have its first informational meeting. The meeting will start after school in room D205 and will end properly at 4 p.m. Pride Club will have the first meeting on Wednesday, 1019, 10, after school until 4 p.m. in the auditorium. Check Schoology for details. Hope to see you there. French Club will meet today in room A206 starting at 3.05 p.m. Donuts and Divas will meet in this Thursday morning at 7.20 a.m. in Miss Cliff's room. Donuts and juice will be served and any student or staff are welcome to come. Hope to see you there. Hi Spartans! Our first community service club meeting will be on Tuesday, October 18th from 3.05 to 3.50 in C007. You will be able to take the late bus home at 4 p.m. We will begin planning for the turkey trot, which will take place in November. If you can't make it on Tuesday, no worries. Stop by C007 and see me or Mrs. Bucci. We will tell you how you can help us on your own time. Also, please check Schoology for a group invite if you signed up on the Club Fair Google Forum. See you soon. Red Ribbon Week starts Monday, October 24th. The theme is Celebrate Life, Live Drug Free. There are several themes for the week. Monday, October 24th, wear red, put a stop to drugs. Tuesday, October 25th, Twins Day, double up on the fight against drugs. Wednesday, October 26th, pajama day, follow your dreams, not drugs. Thursday, October 27th, crazy hat day, use your head, drugs are a no-no. Friday, October 28th, think pink, we will end the week with our annual pink out, raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer. Spirit points will be awarded. Be sure to participate and earn spirit points for your grade. Hi, my name is Bear. And I'm Bella. Uh, the fall dance will be taking place Friday, October 27th, um, 7 to 9 p.m. Ticket sales will take place at your scheduled lunchtime for $10 starting October 25th. You should be dropped off and picked up at the cafeteria entrance. You should dress as casual and no costumes. There will be all around entertainment and we will be providing music and an MC. There will be lots of snacks, including allergy free ones. See, See you later, later Spartans! <laughs> Let's check in with our Spartan TV reporters to find out Springton Lake's favorite Halloween candy. My favorite Halloween candy is Twix. Mine's My favorite Halloween candy is Reese's. Oh, my favorite Halloween candy is M&M's. Uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Twix. 100% Skittles. Twix. Oh my god. My favorite Halloween candy is King Size Crunch Balls. My favorite Halloween candy is Twix. Kit Kat. Crunch Bar. Starburst. Twix. Hey Spartans, it's Dr. Sal coming your way today. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope your week got off to a great start yesterday. It was certainly a great weekend in our area, a uh, great weekend to be a Philly sports fan. Uh, how about our Phillies uh, in the playoffs, uh, doing real well? Uh, the Eagles are continuing to be on a roll, so it is a great time to be a sports fan in Philadelphia. I hope you had a great weekend. Now, a couple of things as we get into the week. So, first of all, our fall fundraiser continues through the end of this week. The fundraiser will end on Friday. This is your last chance to get involved, to help out student council, and to earn a prize. Okay, I'm going to be giving out more ducks in the cafeteria this week, and there's still a chance if you're interested in being able to attend our bingo party that is going to be happening uh, after the sale is over. This is your chance. Get those orders in. Uh, send out those text messages, emails to family members who may be able to help. Uh, last call. 
Uh, we will close out the store uh, on Friday night at midnight. And so that's the last chance to be able to help out and to earn a prize. So get involved and we appreciate everyone uh, who's been involved so far. Now you've heard in the announcements, our first all school dance of the year is happening next Friday night, the 28th of October. It is a fall themed dance. Tickets are going to go on sale starting next week. We'll be selling them at lunch in the cafeteria. Uh, you've probably heard the cost is $10. Uh, it includes all of your refreshments, all of your entertainment. Uh, the DJs will be giving out uh, party prizes. So it's going to be a great night. Now, remember, uh, in addition to the $10, you will also need to have 75 Spartan Bucks in your live school account. Uh, we will deduct 75 Spartan Bucks for everybody that buys a ticket. Uh, and so you want to make sure that you do have them available in your account. And you'll remember, we gave everyone 150 uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and so as long as you've been making good choices, following the four R's, uh, meeting those expectations, you have all of those Spartan Bucks and probably way more. Uh, but it will be 75 Spartan Bucks plus your $10 in order to be able to attend the dance. Now, as I mentioned last week, and I mentioned this to your parents, we are past the halfway point of the marking period. Very important for you to be on top of your grades, know your situation in all of your classes. And if you need help, ask for that help now. Uh, reach out, uh, hand in any of those assignments, see a teacher, whatever you need to do, but take care of it now before it gets closer to the end of the marking period, because it is uh, rapidly approaching the end of the marking period. Now, because it is Tuesday, it is time for our Trivia Tuesday question. I thought this week uh, I would have a fall-themed trivia question for you. Now, around this time of the year, uh, I don't know about you, but I love looking at all of the different pumpkins, the different colors of pumpkins, the different sizes of pumpkins. Uh, we have some great pumpkins outside decorating the front of our building. Uh People all over the country compete at this time of the year to grow the largest pumpkin. And there are competitions all over the United States. But what is considered to be the Super Bowl of pumpkin way-offs occurs each year in a place called Half Moon Bay, California. It's considered to be the Super Bowl of all of these way-offs. And so this year, uh, last week, a new American record was sent, uh, was set rather, by the largest pumpkin uh, to date. Do you know how large this pumpkin was? So I've got a multiple choice one for you this week. Was that pumpkin weighing in at 986 pounds, 1,459 pounds, 2,560 pounds, or 3,013 pounds? Think you know? Use the form that I shared with you in Schoology to submit your answer. And remember, no Googling. There's going to be some bonus Spartan bucks awarded to some random people who submit a correct response. All right, Spartans, I hope you have a great Tuesday and go Phils. That's all the announcements we have for today. Have a great day, Spartans.